right. To the beach full galaxy I go. This is one of my favorite galaxies, actually. Despite it having some uh, exploration missions and stuff like that, it is indeed one of my favorite galaxies. Uh, I don't know why, I just like to uh, explore games, especially platforming games. Oh, look how beautiful this place is. It's spectacular. And listen to the music again. Yes, I like the music. I'm sounding like a broken record, but I just I just can't praise this music a lot enough, I should say. Uh, hey, are you that same penguin from that uh, manta ray surfing galaxy? I don't know if you said the same thing as that other one. Dang you. I guess they're running out of dialogue or something. Now I know how to swim. Anyway, the object of this one here is to collect these, uh, um, see these things right here? Yeah, it's these, um, little star pieces. The, oh no, don't hit me, sea urchin! Oh yes, they are very pretty, but I must take them away from your ocean before I have my own motives to go to. And, uh, isn't there, no, there's not one in there, so pardon me. <laughs> um, I forgot the locations of them. I'm pretty sure one's in here. Yep, there's one in here. And gimme, gimme, gimme. Um, if you spin underwater, you can go a lot faster, yeah, like that, um, but if you're using Luigi, uh, I don't recommend that you do that too often, um, because what'll happen is you'll run out of air, I should say use up air a lot faster. Um, yes, I said Luigi, you do unlock Luigi later on, small spoiler there, but I, um, the reason why I would say that is because this game has been out for like three, four years, so everyone knows Luigi's unlockable. Though it seems like that not a lot of people have 100% of the game, despite how awesome it is. And where the heck's the last star thingy? No, I should say the last, uh, yeah, that is a star thingy, a sleep star thing. Now, I know they're all underwater, so, what? <laughs> um, but if you get an air bubble, by the way, um, you can recover your air. I also forgot to explain the controls. Just press the A button to, uh, swim forward. If you press the B button... Uh, or I should say the Z button, excuse me. I was using the wrong pointer finger. I was thinking of the wrong pointer finger. Um, you you dive down a lot quicker, like that. Uh, so that's handy in some cases. I, it all, all depends on the situation that uh, you have. I'm just saying there, just saying you got a couple of options there. Um, oh, there's the last one right there in front of Captain Snarly Teeth here. Ow! Oh, don't hit me there. But you already hit me. There we go. There's our sling star. All we have to do is swing, uh, swim right on over there. So I believe that's off in this direction here. Star bits! Star bits! Collect the star bits! Yeah! Star bits! Woo! -hoo! And then just spin. And you splash out of the water, and you appear up here. The star, if you didn't see, was up on top of that ledge that I'm pointing to up there. Um, you can spin to hit this thing. And it'll make a little musical minigame appear. Yes, this is more Mario 3 references here. Yeah, I gotta love that song. And then a mushroom, I should say a one-up mushroom will appear right there. Hit this exclamation point switch just like that. It'll make a path appear. And that's how you get to that mushroom easier. Um, to, get, to get to that path, just... Oh, shoot, no, I didn't want to do that. Just climb up here and... Go over here. Yeah, don't wall jump your way up there. That would be stupid. Just like I did. <laughs> and uh, that will disappear eventually. And then you just go over to this one and make another one appear. And wall jump. Yeah, baby. And spin. Spin again. It takes two spins to break this apart. And there is your star. Woo! Here's that Rosalina's library is open. Um, if you go to the library, I'll show you where that is later. Um, you can listen to a little backstory of Rosalina and the Lumas. Um, but I'm only going to be doing that once I get all the pages of the storybook ready and stuff like that. That way I can have a, like a part dedicated to it or something like that. Just to keep this organized or something. Um, I'm just saying uh, that now just to alert you. And also a new galaxy has been discovered. Uh, this one probably. And I'm going to go back to Beach Bowl Galaxy, because there's still two more stars to get, technically five more stars. But as I said, I'm going to uh, be doing as many as I can as I go and stuff like that. Just And I'm going to be doing like the first three just to keep things organized and stuff like that. 
Uh, I don't know, maybe I'm just doing things as I go. What am I saying? Um, now I have to pass the swim test. To pass the swim test, you have to find the legendary golden shell. Yes, you've seen green shells, you've seen red shells, but have you seen a golden shell? No, you haven't, uh, but you will now. You talk to this guy right here. Yes, I am. Why don't I? Uh, well, what's the requirements here? Oh, shells in the ocean? The gold shell is an automatic A, and I want that A badly. So let's just dive on here. The gold shell that you're looking for is being held and used by a penguin. Um, where that penguin is, I gotta look for it. So there is a penguin swimming with it. It, it usually passes along this path, like right here. There it is, there it is, right there. Give me shell, give me shell. When you get near it, just spin to grab it. Ha ha ha! I have taken away your A. What are you gonna do about it now, huh? Huh? I'm the school bully, what are you gonna do, huh? Huh? Actually, don't bully. Bullying people's mean, and it makes you look stupid. And, uh, so yeah, that's how you get the golden shell. You have to rob it from that penguin. That is so mean! Well, anyway, I brought it back, and there's the gold medal. What's the gold medal? Oh, it's a star! Who would have guessed? <laughs> yeah, if you know what to do, um, this galaxy is pretty fast, it's pretty easy. And now that uh, I got the golden shell, the legendary golden shell, goodbye, I don't need you anymore. Give me my star. That is a true prize worthy of a plumber. A new chapter has been added to the storybook at this point, I guess. Uh, to the Rosalina storybook, I should say. Um, so if you want to go check out that page, you can do so right now. But as for me, I'm going back to Beach Bowl Galaxy to do the last one. I believe this is like called the Secret Undersea Cave or something like that. It is not the most secret cave ever. No, Secret Undersea Cavern. Ah, oh, I was so close. Well, technically a cavern is a cave, so I'm not that far off. Um, see that wall right there? You're going to need a shell, and when you get a shell, you're going to have to use that shell to break that. Um, I forgot to explain how to control using shell controls. Um, I'll, when I grab a shell, I'll show you. But it's basically, you don't have to press the A button or anything. Um, when you have a shell, you just automatically swim forward. And it makes it really easy and really swift to swim. It's also really intuitive. And when you want to throw the shell, just watch where that beam of light goes. And then just shake the Wii remote to throw the shell. And there you go. You broke apart the wall. Well, at least I did. You will when you play the game. Like I said before, watching a walk through this game is not playing the game yourself. No matter what, the game you have to experience yourself. To see its true beauty and the awesomeness of its gameplay. That's the only way I can describe it. Break apart those crates, round pound the stump, and use the sling star to, to ditch this planet once and for all. And then you appear onto this thing right here. Uh, this is a pretty dangerous planet, actually, because it's full of thwomps and those weird, um, thingies. I, I don't know what to call them. They're, they're blocks that they roll over and stuff like that, and, you, and there's a safe spot underneath them. Um, you can skip a whole load of this, um, by just long jumping across certain things. Um, but I'm not gonna be- wait, is there- Oh shoot, it's gonna turn around! And if they squish you, it's a one-hit kill. So, yeah, that's why it's a pretty dangerous planet here. And now you gotta uh, make your way across here. I could have probably long jumped to these things from the very start, but I'm just gonna do it legit and just do it the normal way. Climb on top of here, and then you'll be able to get to this spot easily. Go around counterclockwise, because that's the opposite direction that there's a critter going on. Like, there it is right there. Um, there's a safe spot underneath those block critters, block-shaped critters. Um, you have to go inside its hole here. That, that sounded kind of dirty, but whatever. Um, like this, I'm going to wait for it. And you're safe, you're not flattened whatsoever. And that's how you can avoid those critters like that. You can also take a little shortcut and go right across there. What's in here? A oh, star bits! Grab the star bits! Wait, let me know that. There we go. Now I can take a, a, a little bit further ahead and uh, I don't have to wait around for that thing to go back around and stuff like that. And now you don't have to just have to wait for the swamp bomb. And the path to the star is right here. And there it is! Star gets baby! Look at Mar look at Mario's fists! They like enlarge when he does that star spin thing. That looks so weird. I never noticed that before until the camera froze like that. 
or just never notice it in general. Yeah. Well, that should be it for this part, I think. So, I'll see you guys in the next part. Hope you enjoy.